I I don't look anything she has to big three or big four. I got you. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, you look so scared. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. So here's the sitch. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. So here's the thing. I intended to film a vlog for our first rave, baby's first rave, because we are going to our first rave tomorrow. And I'm still doing that, but I'm starting it right now at a party because um, I had to go buy a new SD card because I forgot mine in Austin. I'm in Huntsville. And so I had to go buy another SD card and then I just forgot that I did that. And I forgot that I had a YouTube thing. I forgot to, I haven't posted in a month. <laughs> we're here now. I so we're at a Halloween party at my house at Sage's house. This is still a rave vlog. It's just the night before but because it is we're doing the a bender. Night before, well, we are. This is night three for me. This is night one for me. Uh, I went so to the, that's great. I went to the country club on Saturday or Thursday. I went to a frat party last night. This and then the rave tomorrow. Oh. And then I have to go to school on Monday. <laughs> and I don't. Meonza, do you want to be in it? You guys can be in it too. Yeah. So, proof that we're at a party and that I do have friends. Guess what they are? Dorothy, Shigo, Dracula, Grayson's YouTube video. You want to be in it? Sure. Dracula, and then Plastic, Karen. No, Gretchen. No, Gretchen. All right, that was that. We'll be back later. Good afternoon. Um, it's the next day, obviously. Um, and we're getting ready now. We're doing makeup now. <laughs> we're adjusting our tails. <laughs> so I'm gonna show like my outfit whenever I'm fully done getting ready. And we might go like shopping in Houston before you can see boots. This is boots. You can, uh, we're gonna go probably shopping at like pavement and stuff in Houston before we actually go to the rave. Which it, oh, hey, don't bump the mic. <laughs> yeah, there's your update. We will be back. Okay, these clips are muted because we were listening to music while we were getting ready. Um, and that's also why I'm not talking. But yeah, so these are our outfits. And then in, um, in a second, in the clip where all of us are together and we're talking, but obviously there's no audio. We're just saying what we are. Sage is a bat. Mianza is a wolf and I'm like a Doberman slash dog because like, yeah. And so now we are going to the rave. Excuse the uh, brightness in this clip and the last one. I was just on my phone because I didn't want to bring my, you know, almost thousand dollar camera to this like fairground, like raceway. It was at a raceway. Um, this clip is literally just me staring at myself. Uh, we were sitting on the ground and Mianza and Sage were eating and I was, you know, of a legal age to do a legal substance that I did a lot of. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to it.
don't fall. There's no need to fall. There's zero need to fall. Good enough, right? This is good enough. Okay, so. That's so good. Yeah, I did get a fucking PSL. Sometimes being a basic, a oh, basic white girl is fine. I'm also wearing Lululemon leggings. Fuck are you gonna do about it? So, I'm sitting in a parking lot just to film this last bit before I drive because I don't want to film and drive. So, last night we went to Freaky Deaky and it was Halloween themed. So all of the different stages had like some spookiness to them. Like there were some coffins, there was like a skull thing, but all of the stages had like um, really cool setups and they had like um, a bunch of flashing lights and shit to go with the music and I'm not gonna show clips of that I don't think because like flashing lights I don't want to risk that for anyone but here are my thoughts from my rave virginity being taken here are my thoughts um that was really fucking fun it was honestly I want to say it was more of a chiller rave like a rave but a rave that like normal normal people can go to because there weren't all that many like there were people like in costumes and shit but there weren't a lot of like very serious like ravers you know there were do not get me wrong they were there were a lot there but there were also a lot of people just like in normal clothes just like there to vibe and that's great for them so I think for a first rave I actually kind of like that how it was seemingly more chill um but yeah, it was a lot of fun. The ven venue, the like park place that it was at was pretty small. Not like small, small, but it was maybe like half the size of ACL. So like you could walk around a lot. You like, you could keep walking in circles and not really miss anything, you know? Um, the, it was, everyone there was really friendly, but obviously watch out for the people that are friendly with the wrong intentions um I don't think we ran into any like creepy people there was maybe like one guy that was like being clearly overly friendly with um one of us but luckily none of us were creeped on or touched or anything like that but if you know you're watching this as someone that's curious and wants to go to a rave that is something to watch out for go with, go with friends don't go by yourself um but yeah it was really fun and I would like to go to more raves. I'm not gonna go like super, super often. Like I don't see myself being like a full traveling rave girl or anything, but that was super, super fun. And it's also a confidence boost, like wearing something kind of scandalous, you know, cause I was wearing underwear that I thought were like boy shorts when I bought them online, but they were like straight up, my ass was kind of out. And it made me really self-conscious um, when I was like getting dressed, but I was with Sage and Mianza who also looked hot as fuck. And we were surrounded by a bunch of people that, you know, they were dressed similarly or even skimpier. And also like nobody cared. And it was just like really freeing and really fun in that aspect. And also I just like the music. I don't know if it's the tism, but <laughs> I like sound. I like random noise. Um, and so that was great. <laughs> So that was my experience with the rave. Now I get to drive home three hours. Bro, am I interrupting a fucking trucker meetup? This is like the third or fourth one that's pulled up here. Is this like someone's meetup spot? I'm so sorry. I'll leave soon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna take a rest day because today's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Today's Halloween. Um, I'm not going out or anything, but I am getting dressed. I'm probably just gonna rewear my Bella Domitresque dress um for trick-or-treaters because we do live in a neighborhood with a lot of kids so we have our bucket of candy and we're gonna do the trigger the trick-or-treating we're not gonna do the trick-or-treating we're gonna be giving the treats we're gonna be treating you to candy okay um yeah but before trick-or-treaters come i am playing the new not new but the Modern Warfare 2 that just came out. It's obviously not new, but it's like remastered, remade. I fucking, dude, I bought it 
like three days ago, I pre-ordered it the day before it came out so I could get the ca the campaign early. And then it had to take a while to download. So I didn't end up playing it. And then I left town. So guess who played my game campaign from start to fucking finish while I was gone? My boyfriend, he played my game and he beat my game in the one day I was gone, two days I was gone. Now I'm gonna go delete his progress so I can play it. That was this video. You can still see the makeup that I slept in. For some reason, it's more on this side. Does that mean that I sleep on this side? Is that what that means? I don't know. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the video, comment on the video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the video maker, and I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna listen to music really loud now.